Hello students, welcome to the series on advertising. Today we are going to study media planning and selection. Now let us study the objective of this lecture. The basic objective of this lecture is to study the parameters for selecting media and how do we plan the media selection. Now let us first study a quote on media. Content builds relationships and relationships are built on trust and trust drives revenue, a quote by Andrew Davis. There are three objectives for content marketing. It is reach, engagement and conversion. This is a quote by Michael Brenner. So, uh, what we are going to study in media planning is how do we design our content and how do we allow it to be disseminated to the audiences. It is important that we build a right content and in a way to create relationships which are credible and which are trustworthy. So, our basic focus is to design media in such a way that whatever selection is done, it is based on some parameters of quality, content and budgets. Now, let us study first the concept and definition of media planning. Media planning is a method of designing strategy for purchasing ad placements with the best combination of media channels to crystallize the marketing goals. Now, every company is using various channels, maybe it is TV, it is newspaper, it is e-newspapers and social media. So, a combination of all media channels is needed so as to crystallize your objective. Now, how do we plan media placements? Uh, it basically depends on the objectives and the goals of the companies and what are the parameters for budgeting it. So, uh, media planning is a detailed sketch of what has to be designed and how it has to be disseminated. Now, media planning and consumer focus. It basically creates plan that reflect the purchase process and consumer behavior. Now, your selection of media and your planning of advertisements will be designed in such a way that your consumers are kept in mind. That is your target market is uh, special and that is important because according to the behavior of the target market and according to the changing trends in this segment, you are going to select the channels and you are going to design the trends according to the behavior of the consumer. So, how consumers purchase the goods, whether they are purchasing it online or they are purchasing it offline or what are the places they are going. So, keeping in mind the various parameters of the consumer ethics, you will decide your media selection. Now, responsibilities of media planners, they must consider the service for the product being advertised, idle target audience and marketing campaign goals. Now, uh, there are very specialized people in the market who design media selection. So, these planners, they are strategic people who understand the market, who understand the geographical locations of the customers and also understand where the customers are moving, how they are purchasing. So, by keeping this in mind, the planners basically design the strategy to select a right combination of various channels so as to reach to the consumers. Now, the components of a good media plan, it basically focuses on marketing analysis, advertising analysis, media strategy and message creativity. Before selecting a channel of uh, media for placing your ad in a particular forum, you have to decide and see what the market is all about. Marketing analysis is to study the competition, the demographics and the classification of the products, how the product is uh, reaching the customers, what is the kind of the uh, market share that you are able to achieve through a kind of an investment. Advertising analysis would uh, be a kind of analysis to as to how to frame the ads, what kind of strategies are needed to reach the social media. Or uh, what are the videos or what are the write-ups or what are the uh, posts or messages which you are going to create when you are going to place the advertisement. So, advertising analysis uh, would be 
to design the various form of ads so as to be acceptable by the various channels. Then the media strategy would be to decide the vehicle which will carry the ad to the customers. All the customers are smart in terms of being uh, capable of possessing the gadgets of laptops and desktop and phones. So, we have to decide uh, the kind of the educated customer who is a responsible person and is addicted to this kind of forum. So, the classification and the segmentation would be important before we choose the vehicle to place our ads. Then the message creativity, the message creativity basically involves to design a message in such a way that it is credible, it is honest and it is creative and innovative so as to touch the minds and the hearts of the customers. The process of media planning, the first step is to decide the goals of the company. Then you design a multi-channel campaign, then increase the overall brand awareness, drive the conversion rates from a website to bring the customers for sign ups. The goals have to be realistic and time bound. So, when you do planning you basically first the company has to decide what are the objectives, how are the goals to be achieved. After deciding the goals you need to decide your budget. On the basis of the budget you are going to design a multi channel strategy for creating ads because ads in different formats, different colors and shapes are available at different formats. A video cannot be popular in a news print, but a video can be popular in a social platform. So, we need to design ads according to the platform on which we are placing. After placing your ads on the channel, we are going to design strategy where we crystallize results which are measurable. That is we need to control the media channels and the platforms in such a way that we get results in a measurable way. Setting clear goals. First is you develop your media strategy, draw your new prospects and acquire more customers. When goals are decided, it is easy that you are targeting to 25,000 customers per month or maybe per 15 days. So, on the basis of the clear set goals, you are going to develop a strategy which will look into the potential customers and which will also cater to the customers which are new to your channel. So, the conversion rates of the customers who are already on the channels would be easy. If goals are clear, uh, you can uh, generally hire people according to the number of uh, customers required and we can give them assignment so that the work is done in an easy and a systematic way. Defining the target audiences. The target classification basically depends on the demographics, interest and media habits. The demographics relate to age, gender, ethnicity, income, occupation etc. Whereas, the interest of the consumers vary from intent to purchase and to be in the market. Media habits basically relate to your preferred media platforms to engage maybe on a desktop, mobile or you may be native etc. or you are a roaming customer. So, the uh, target audience is the classification of the audience based on their income and the age group. Second is the interest like where the customers are purchasing, what kind of goods they are buying, where the investment of money is going. So, even if you can study the behavioral aspects of the customers, you are able to design an ad or a strategy where you can uh, attract the customers to your product and services. Media habits basically what are the most popular forms of media consumption. Uh, how people are related to their laptops and how people are related to their mobiles. It is important to study the habits because most of the people when they are in offices are related to their computers and when they are in their travel form that is they are in their entertainment form, they would resort to their gadgets uh, or mobile phones which are very convenient to them. So, we have to parallelly uh, see the platforms and design strategies so as to attract the customers on the various platforms in a similar way. Then is to decide the campaign detail. The flight or the timeline of the campaign has to be important. The budget allotted to the campaign needs to be focused. 
the media channels to reach the target audiences becomes important and analyzing media preferences of target audiences is important to build a strategy. Now what is campaign detail? Campaign is how do we design the ads to be uh, placed in the media for a year basis or for 6 months. So we would be aggressive in the festival seasons and we would uh, be uh, deciding or giving our ads on a normal rates in off seasons. So what is the mode of dissemination has to be decided according to the type of the product the company is able to launch and the behavior and the buying patterns of the customers. The amount of money which is invested to place the advertisement on the channel becomes a great parameter to decide and to achieve the goals. If you have less and reasonable budget, it is that we go for uh, platforms which are generally cheap and which uh, generally do not involve high level of investment as public medias of television and radio. So, we have the cheapest media which is available which is less costly could be the social media platform where the investment is less but still the reach is very high. The uh, media channels on different platforms ha have their different kinds of the target audiences. There is an audience who is basically interested in entertainment and who is uh, connected to TV are basically housewives who have ample of time. So, they involve in this kind of media channel. So, if you are targeting to this segment of the market, it is better even if the media is costly, you can place less ads, but it should go through the television media. Now, media preferences of people vary according to the age and also according to the city and also according to the location. It depends to what kind of population you are targeting. Building a media plan, a media plan will include specific media channels best for message delivery. It is the cost is based on number of impressions and cost per million clicks and creative development specifications. So, the plan which you decide for uh, disseminating your ad in the market would be somewhere very specific for each channel because each channel has a specific cost. For websites and all you have to calculate the number of impressions giving to the customers and how much uh, time they have invested to click your ad that also becomes important. When you develop these specifications for uh, giving or placing your ads in particular channel, you need to be very creative and innovative in order to connect with the value based evaluations of the customers. Creative development specifications basically depend on the actual images the message of the banner ads that will be delivered across different platforms, ensuring that they are engaging to boost clicks and responses. Now, uh, how the ads reach to the customers basically uh, depend on what kind of content you are giving to the customers. It is what message has to be shown, whether it has to be a social message or it has to be a romantic message or it has to be a compassionate message. So, depending on the credibility and the image which the company wants to create, you are going to decide the specifications and how the customers are going to engage with that ad. That also becomes important because showing the ads to the customers is only the first step. But how do we engage? How do customers participate in clicking and uh, in uh, taking part in uh, contest or uh, taking part in other sponsored programs also becomes important when you try to design the uh, basic specifications for the ad placements in the media. Now, the compilation of media planning, data has to be compiled from targeting technologies, creative development specifications for the actual ads has to be decided, accessibility to different ad exchanges to deliver message has to be created. Now, compilation of this total planning that once you have planned uh, the channel and the content and you have disseminated it is important to control also that is you have to collect the data as where the reach has been how many customers have clicked the ad. So, we have softwares available in market which basically tells you how many customers are viewing your ad and how many customers are actually engaging in this ad. 
it also gives you the statistics as from where the customers are coming. So, by uh, this statistics you will know what locations are popular, which stores have become uh, very important for you to be targeted. So, this will give you a kind of a allocation as to decide how much you have to invest in the future ad placements because this is a measurable platform where you can see actually advertisement crystallizes sales in uh, what way and in which way. So, whatever is the target audience, how they are looking at you, how they are getting converted, if this data is collected it becomes easy for the planners to choose the strategies for the future segmentation. The factors that have changed the role of media, it is the cost factor, the global markets, the complexity of the media function and the profitability. Cost has become important for all companies because the diversification of media has increased. Initially when people were advertising they had only few platforms that is either you had a print media or you had a television platform. But now the channels have changed, the channels have become more customized, they have more uh, tailor made to specific uh, audiences. Maybe it is a niche product or it is a professional product, but you need to reach to all the customers because the customers have diverse uh, interest according to the evolution and the development of the channels. So, uh, the cost associated with each channel is different and when you combine all the cost obviously it becomes higher as compared to the olden days. The globalization where markets have crossed the national barriers and you are working in a multi market uh, competitive uh, ground where you have to sell your products not only in one nation, but you have to relate to the diverse cultures and the values of people who are living with different kinds of lifestyles all over the world. So, this has become a great challenge for the planners as how to decide on the colors and the emotions which generally change from each destination to the other destination. The complexity of the media functionality has also changed. Some channels have become very important in terms of reaching to the customers, but there are channels where you do not get viewership also and you cannot avoid those channels. So, placing and being everywhere is tiresome, tedious and costly. To be everywhere is a difficult procedure for companies also and it involves lot of investment not only in terms of money, but also in terms of the minds and the heads of the creative labor which is involved in designing this strategy. Then is profitability. How do we increase the profitability of the uh, product because the customers are not ready to pay high amount for the products. Most of the products now have become uh, less costly because the awareness has increased, people have started calculating cost and have been uh, moving from one channel to the other channel to compare the cost. It is very difficult for company and for investors to bluff the customers. So, to keep the profitability at a level where you can function is difficult in today's market. The market scale has changed, it has changed from local, regional, national to global. The markets in which you are operating, in olden days it used to be only a kind of a local market where you used to sell the goods. So, it was easy that you have to target only 5000 or 5 lakh customers, but this figure has changed to millions and to billions of customers where customers are diverse and located in far off locations with different taste and attitudes. So, the scale of market for all companies has changed. It has moved from local to global, uh, global level where you have to uh, relate to the aspects of the world or the universal standards. Now, the uh, basic factors impacting the media planning also relate to the organizational objectives, also relate to the target markets, the cost. Uh, it is the message theme, the constraints and the limitations and the product service consideration. So, what you are selecting and what you are planning is basically organizations and companies uh, objective in terms to reach to the customers, where the customers are located, what is the kind of the cost they are ready to bear and uh, what kind of message. Uh, the companies are in pressure that they have to be socially responsible 
they need credibility that they are looking after the society and they are also concerned about the uh, women empowerment and about the issues related to the uh, child welfare and also other aspects. So, the companies need to design messages in such a way that they are attractive, entertaining and also carrying social concern. So, it is a difficult uh, kind of a concept where you need planning not only in terms of selecting media, but also in terms of designing your strategy for creation of content. Now, the parameters for designing the strategy basically depends on the reach, frequency and weight. What is reach? Reach is the proportion of the population reached with advertising messages during a specified period. Frequency is how frequently audiences should be exposed to the message during a specified period. Weight is how much total advertising is needed to accomplish reach and frequency objectives. Reach is uh, the number of audiences exposed to the uh, ad, frequency is how many times, it is one time a day or two times a day or it is uh, seven times per week. So, depends upon uh, how frequently you need to reach to the audience will also involve a kind of a cost. So, weight would be the result of multiplication of reach into frequency. So, what will be the weight of your advertising depends on the kind of the budget and obviously the objective. The media selection factors basically depend on the rating of the media itself. The rating is defined as the number of household turned to a program upon the total number of households in a market. So, re rating of any media can be found because it is a statistical figure uh, which is a proportion of how much how many people are looking to a particular program depending upon the total size of the market available in a particular segment. The gross rating points. The gross ratings or GRPs, they are an indicator of the amount of gross weight that a particular advertising schedule is capable of delivering. The GRP is reach into frequency. So, it depends uh, what is the product service which you have decided and what is the kind of weight required uh, which has to be delivered so the audiences can remember it and can accept it to buy the products. Achieving advertising objectives basically is derived from the Regency theory, which says that advertising when closer to purchase works effectively and money is wasted when intended market is not reached. So, uh, Regency theory says that the investment and advertisement should only come when the audiences are very near to you. If the audiences are there in USA and you are floating an ad in a local channel, it is very difficult that your ad would reach to that market. If the media which is available there, if it is tapped there, it would work better and the cost will be recovered. Your money will be wasted if the ads are not viewed by the audiences. So, there is no um, point that you place an ad, you do not get single click. So, it is better that we wind up the cost from this kind of channel and invest in a channel which is very close to the audience or a channel which is very popular with the audiences. The message strategy would target the audience selection, the objective specification, the media and the vehicle and the media buying habits. So, the message which you are going to design in a particular channel would vary because if you are uh, going through a internet media and you are posting on Twitter, the message has to be small and if you are going through newspapers, the messages have to be long because we need uh, research and content and information in uh, the kind of the newspapers and in media which are very large in terms of their display. So, how do we relate to the creation of content depends upon the kind of the platform we are relating and obviously to the kind of the audience which we are reaching. If we are reaching the child market, it is not important that we write lengthy articles. We can just uh, give poems and we can uh, attract them through rhythms and uh, other functions of being entertaining to them. So, this will uh, be a kind of a platform which is uh, accessible to the kids market and which is more colorful and more entertaining to this kind of people who cannot read, but still they can connect with the kind of the entertainment and rhythmic 
uh, programs which you have created for them. Now, let us study the summary of this lecture. In this lecture, we have studied about media planning, which basically depends on reach and frequency of any channel. The goals and budget impact the choice of the channel. The planning needs to be accurate to reach the target market. So, media planning would help you to decide what channel you have to choose at what cost and at what time. So, if your decision is important in terms of uh, choosing a right channel, you would be able to reach to a larger segment of population and you would able to revive your brand and build your brain in a better way. I hope the students must have understood the basic concept of media planning and how do we select the channels in a better way. Thank you students.